regulation. So my reaction. Darwin's words were, you know, best player in the world, can't get a call. Uh, it, it's been an ongoing theme the last couple of weeks through a couple in early January. Uh, how do you kind of balance the frustration of the moment just considering all the games that you played? Um, it's, it's challenging, very challenging. Um, I don't get it. Um, I don't get it. I'm, I'm attacking the, the paint. Um, just as much as any of the other guys in this league that's shooting double-digit free throws a night. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Hey Brian, have you had any communication with the league beyond just speaking to the refs night to night, or, or have, have you asked the Lakers to kind of have some communication? No, I, don't, I don't get into that. I mean, if our organization decided they want to do that, that's cool, but I don't, it ain't going to change. We've watched you play your entire career, but I don't think I've ever seen you that frustrated before with your reaction. Is that one of the most frustrating moments for you? Has it been? You've just been building because of the no, It's been building. It's been building, and that's. I mean, you guys seen some of the games that we've lost this year with late game missed calls. We had an opportunity to literally, you know, win the game. I mean, that's. You know, I had this second one in the last few weeks for myself. You know, against Dallas, had an opportunity to win the game if the foul was called. K-9 the other day, um, had an opportunity to tie the game if, you know, the four-point play is called. You know, um, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what we're doing. And I watch basketball every single day. I watch these games every single day, and I don't see it happening to nobody else. It's just, it's just weird. You guys had several last two-minute reports um, show that you guys could have benefited from a call that was missed. And then, you know, there's a system in place now if you are to speak about how the officiating went. The league has the ability to, to find a player. So what, what, is that just a rock on a hard place? Like how, what is, what's the recourse for a player to, to see change? I don't know. I suppose it's one thing if you're, you know, top of the standings or something, but when you guys are still fighting to try to get above water and these, these games happen, how do you kind of, as a leader of the team, how do you guys, how do you come back the next day? Well, the good thing, we don't have a, we don't have a game tomorrow, so we um, get an opportunity to rest a little bit. Um, if you're a football fan, you can watch the AFC and the NFC championship games, kind of get your mind off the game, but we don't, like I told you guys, we don't have room for error. And... Um, it's one of the best games we played all year, and for it to fall on somebody else's, uh, for someone to fall on somebody else's judgment or non-judgment is just it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous.